Hey everybody, I'm Chris and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about something that you might have already noticed, which is I switched cameras. So we're going to be talking about why I switched cameras, what I switched from, what I switched to, and how it's helping me. So let's get into it. First off, before I was using a Panasonic Lumix FC80 camera, which can be seen here. This is a screenshot from one of my older videos. It was a decent camera, but I ended up trading it in because it just didn't do what I needed it to do. First off, I wasn't entirely happy with the image quality after a while, but that wasn't even the main problem. The main problem was the camera didn't have a flip out screen and the screen was basically not movable at all. It was just kind of on the back of the camera. And that was a huge problem for me because most of the time I'm filming myself. And basically when you need to film yourself, you need to see what you're doing, where I could um, properly set up the angle, set up the focus, all that kind of stuff. This is a screenshot from a video that I did somewhat recently, how to uh, make Windows 10 look better. And as you may have noticed already from this screenshot, I am slightly out of focus. And <laughs> the reason that I'm slightly out of focus is that I put the camera on face detection because I couldn't manually focus it because I can't be in front of and behind the camera at the same time. And because I put it on face detection, my Nas poster in the background got focused on instead of me because there's a face in that. So it identified that face and ended up tracking that instead of me, leading to me being completely out of focus. So yeah, that was not good. I ended up recording the entire video in a way that I thought was perfect, and then it looked like garbage at the end. So <laughs> yeah, I basically needed a solution for that. So what was my solution? I ended up getting a GoPro. You might be like, wait a minute, a GoPro? Why, why would you do that? You had like a DSLR type of thing and now you have a GoPro. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Plus a GoPro is an action cam. Why would you use that to film yourself in your room? Good question. There's a couple reasons why. For one, it shoots 4K. For two, it's pretty inexpensive. For three, there's actually a configuration option where you can set it to linear field of view in order to get rid of that weird fisheye distortion type of effect. Four, it's portable. I can take it literally anywhere. The thing is really, really tiny. So I can take it anywhere. I can even stick it in my pocket if I want to. Five, I get HDR video with fantastic colors and awesome contrast. And it's waterproof. Not, not that I really care if it's waterproof, but it's kind of a nice bonus. I mean, who doesn't like a waterproof camera? Come on. <laughs> so yeah, I ended up getting the GoPro and the GoPro I went with among the many options on the market is the GoPro Hero 7 Black. So you might be wondering, um, do you realize that there's a Hero 8 and a Hero 9 now? Why would you, why would you get the 7? That doesn't make a lot of sense. But in my case, it does make sense. So the first question I'm going to tackle is why did I not get the 9? The 9 is basically a 5K camera that takes 20 megapixel photos and all that kind of stuff. Um, it has a couple other upgraded features, better stabilization, uh, better HDR, stuff like that. But um, the main thing that deterred me from it was the fact that it shoots 5K. That's great and everything, but I figured it was kind of overkill considering most YouTube traffic and web traffic in general comes from mobile devices. So um, most mobile devices are between like 1080 and 4K at the very highest. I don't even know if they make any 4K mobile devices. They're probably around 2K for most of them. And also TVs in most cases are usually 4K, even for the good ones. Like 8K is kind of a luxury right now. That's probably gonna change, but for now, most people have 4K or below. So I figured why I spend the extra money on 5K? That doesn't make a lot of sense. And why did I not get the eight is another question. I didn't get the eight because on paper, they look very, very similar, the 7 and the 8. Again, the 8 has better stabilization. I think it's hyper smooth 2.0, but I'm sitting in my room and the camera's on a tripod, so I don't care that much about the stabilization. Um, they both shoot 4K 60. They both have super wide angle lenses. You can take HDR photos with both. You can still get decent stabilization on both. So I was like, screw it, I'll save the money. GoPro Hero 7 Black it is. Right, and now it's time to see what this little baby can do. So I put together a little compilation of um, GoPro shots that I've taken within the past day. Yeah, I was kind of going crazy with it, just doing a whole bunch of stuff just to see what I could pull out of it. Um, I ended up messing with the settings a little bit and I got some pretty cool results. So without further ado, here we go.
All right, so hopefully you like that little compilation. I'm really happy with the results and I think that I'll be able to pull some really great stuff out of the camera going forward. So that's about it for the video. Thanks for watching. I'm Chris Kendall signing off and have a good one. <laughs>